morning, boys and girls. Guess what day it is? Woohoo! Shout it out! That's right! Story time day! Whoop, whoop. You know it's a day that I love because I get to share some great stories with you. All right, today's story is a nonfiction story and it's called I've Got Feet Fantastical Feet of the Animal World, written by Julie Murphy, illustrated by Hannah Tolson, and the publisher is Amicus Inc. Mankato, Minnesota. All right, remember, nonfiction is the words are true. All right, let's start. I've got feet. Animal feet can walk, run, and kick. They can climb, jump, and dig. Some feet swim, some catch food. What a lot of things animal feet can do. I've got fast feet. My feet are as quick as a car on a highway. Cheetah feet never slip. They have claws that grip the ground even better than soccer shoes. So that's a cheetah. They're very fast. I've got kicking feet. My back feet sure pack a punch. They help me to avoid becoming a lion's next meal. Zebra feet kick so hard, they can break a lion's jaw. Wow, I did not know that. I've got webbed feet. The skin between my toes helps me paddle in ponds. Duck feet are also good for waddling on the ground. They don't sink into squishy mud. I've got sticky feet. My feet let me run straight up trees without slipping. Gecko feet get their grip from thousands of tiny bristly hairs on their toes. Hello, Ella. Did you guys see Ella? She poked her head in here. Hello, she's saying hello. She's learning about animal feet too. That's right. Good girl. You're a nice, good learner. Yes. I've got sharp feet. My feet have pointy claws to grasp branches tight. Koala feet also have a toe that works like a thumb. Koalas need to hold on tight because they sleep up high. They sleep in the trees up there. I've got warm feet. My egg sits on my feet all winter long. If it rolled onto the icy ground, it would freeze. Emperor penguin feet have strong claws for gripping the slippery ice. These are penguin feet. I've got hopping feet. My long flat feet are fantastic for bouncing through the Australian desert. Red kangaroo feet could jump about halfway across a school basketball court in a single bounce. Holy cow, that is far. I've got blue feet. I show them off by stepping high. Male blue-footed boobies show off to attract females. Those with the bluest feet are chosen first. got flippery feet. My flippery feet make me a super swimmer. Sea turtle flippers are fantastic in water, but they can be clumsy on land. That's why sea turtles only leave the water to lay eggs. I've 
got sturdy feet. My hooves hop over rocks without slipping or stumbling. Bighorn sheep feet are split for better balance and they are rubbery underneath for a great grip. They help the sheep climb stiff cliff ledges. So you see the little split in their feet right there? That helps them climb. I've got deadly feet. My fierce feet have awesome claws that can catch all kinds of creatures for food. Great horned owl feet are so powerful, they can even snatch up skunks, which are almost three times heavier than the owl. I've got digging feet. My back feet dig like shovels. Spadefoot toads dig cool burrows in hot deserts. They could not survive for long above ground in such hot, dry places. Interesting, I did not know that. I've got handy feet. Swish, I swing from tree to tree. My feet are like hands. I'm a chimpanzee. Each chimpanzee foot has a big toe that works like a thumb. It's like having four hands to travel through the trees in safety. You've got feet too. What can your feet do? Oh, your feet do so many things. They are so impressive. I know this. All right, that was a good fun book. I learned so many new things reading this book to you. So that was good because I love to learn new things and I hope you do too. I am Miss Beth and I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good day.